My guest today is Derek Harper, and Derek, of course, as many know, a former Mavericks great, uh, played in the NBA for them, for the Knicks, uh, also now a broadcaster for the Mavericks on Valley Sports Southwest. Derek is in Fort Worth today, and yes. he and some of his uh, former teammates and other former NBA players from the NBRPA Dallas chapter have been over here doing a clinic for high school kids at the Boys and Girls Club down off of Rosedale Street. Derek, tell a little bit about your motivation for coming over and doing something like this. Well, I, you know, growing up, what, what really motivates me is the fact that somebody stood in the gap for me. Each one teach one. You, you, you got to teach kids. You got to educate kids on what life is all about. You see these basketball bouncing around in here and we're running up and down the court and we're having a good time from that perspective. But there are also opportunities to me to make a difference in other ways for these kids. Some of these kids have never been over here, uh, never been to a camp, beg your pardon. And some of these kids don't know what interacting with other kids are about. Some of these kids don't know what they want to do with their futures. And that's one of the things that I try to relay when I'm, when I'm coming through is that there's life outside of basketball, but this is a stepping stone simply to, uh, to try to guide kids and, and move them in the right direction. So as I'm watching today, Derek is one of the coaches, of course, and he's got <laughs> some gr a group of kids that's assigned to him. And I noticed you didn't just pick out the kids that maybe had played before. You're also giving special attention to the kids that might yeah. be beginners out here. Yes. Why is that really important? I think it's important to, uh, to try to give kids confidence that they can do certain things, if you would. And there was a young lady here this afternoon that had never been at a camp, never played basketball before, very shy, and didn't want anything to do with it. I, I, I could feel that, I could tell that. And I just thought it was important for me to just encourage her, encourage her that she can. You got it. There you go. Good job. You all right? Don't worry about what's going on around you. Just stay focused on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And I think it worked out in the long run. I think she really got something out of us being here. All right. Last one. Yes. Behind me is going on the kind of the closing ceremonies to this. And the guy that is kind of nominally in charge is Derek's former teammate, Moreland yes. Wiley. Analyze Moreland's performance today. Yeah, I think Moreland is incredible. I've known Moreland for a long time. We take shots at each other in a very fun way. We know each other very well. And I know I can get away with saying different things to Mo and vice versa. He feels the same way about me. But we did a camp yesterday and the same thing went on. But a tremendous job. He, he has a very unique knack of being able to gravitate to kids organize what's going on out here and I'm just tagging along with my buddy Moreland but he does a fabulous job and they do give each other a hard time like <laughs> a lot you have to I think he kicked you out again today <laughs> yes he did but if you've ever played professional sports that's what we do we have a good time man all right, all right. Derek thank you for You're being here welcome. in Fort Worth with Derek Harper for the Fort Worth Weekly I'm Rush Olson